I am going to make you leave. Oh, so really? let us go. You're not going to leave. We can me. call JPD again. Call him. I would love to. Okay, go ahead. Because this time, it is my complaint. Okay, go ahead. Okay. You cannot be recording in there. Since when? That is a secure area. Am I am I in there? No, You're recording but you from can't outside record into there. there. You cannot do it. Sorry, you go ahead, baby. I mean, I don't care. There's confidential information in there. Well, maybe you want to secure that. It is secure. No, it's not. If I could see it from a public place. Mm. No, you can't do that. We can call way. security on you for doing that. For doing what? Don't do touch that. me, please. Don't please do don't that. touch me. It is curtains. not a public space in there. It is. It is not on this one. Everything here is a public space. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Hi. Are you going from in office to office and recording everybody? Um, no, I'm just doing an. I'm working on a video in a publicly accessible you know, area. You know, of all this class, you cannot put your camera on recording something. What law it's is a that? HIPAA, it's HIPAA violation. HIPAA. Yes. Well, you, I can't violate HIPAA. I'm not medical staff. You guys are supposed because to protect that. Yes, it does. You might be yes, accessing somebody's personal information. Yeah. No, I'm not. You might be violating somebody's. Personal it's your job to protect he that. Was so I, 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 yeah. 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 We, I have explained yeah. to you on this one that this is an implication of privacy. You, you can cannot see through it as a normal person walking by. Just because the upper area is open does not necessarily mean that this is not what? private. Oh, so okay. That room is a private room, which is mm -hmm. why there is a privacy screen. You Maybe you should make, make better privacy. Because you know, if I could see it, I can film it. You, you are correct. But you can't actually see what you were filming. Yes, I can. If I if, if I raise my hand, you are tall enough to see here without trying to get a rise to your height. Okay. Yes or no? I'm trying to film in there. But you, but you cannot see over this line without artificially increasing your height. Artificial. Yes or no? artificially I yes just, or no i use my my hand so as you are not answering i must go with you agree that you cannot do that without oh. artificially raising your altitude raising your altitude to see through that it doesn't matter if i did so it that at this way point, or not. you have violated an oh. issue where there is privacy oh man and this time i am going to make you leave oh so really let us go you're not gonna leave we can me. call jpd again call him i would love to okay go ahead because this time it is my complaint okay go ahead it is my complaint too go actually forward. i just sat down with jpd for oh, 30 my minutes goodness did I, you ask for sergeant gifford the same one that was here yesterday yeah have him come over I would love That's your to choice, sir. But you yeah. know, we are dealing with public information. Well, you guys need to you guys need to uh, make sure that's sir, that's private. You got to understand that you know this is a member's information that every person who works in the division they are bound to these rules and regulations. Mm. PII and HIPAA is the highest priority for us. That is the reason the doors are locked. There's no way I can violate HIPAA. I'm not you working are, for you medical. You are trying to peek through your camera. You guys have way. you guys have to create privacy. You can't it just... is privacy created, and you are violating that. No, I'm not. Sir, please, would you? Would you what? He's going to put his hands on me? Is that what you... I'm not talking to you, sir. All I'm right, good. Person. Good. Do the walk of shame. Leave me alone. I'm not here to talk to any of you. I'm here to work on my video. So please, have some respect. I have a serious issue if it goes beyond this line mm -hmm. to the record. Thank you. I am going to put my hand up there as many this times as I want. This is the part of my job that I hate. Is that, I love how it this is actually the part of my job I don't like. <laughs> well, maybe you should work somewhere else. You're not doing such a good job here, brother. This I is a public agree. building. I agree. Mm -hmm. And as far as the public access area. I'm in a public access area. This yep. is perfectly fine. Good. So stop calling but the police. A room that has privacy screens oh. up with a locked door. Talking to you is like talking a to a wall. Space. Talking to you is like talking to a wall. Talking to you is like talking to a fucking child. I want is, the kids. Is that, is that how you, is that how you refer to kids? And... No, just you. Oh, just me. The gentleman that we had in on, I believe, Monday, um, 
he has at this time tried to access a secured area. What a liar. Video. No, I'm not. I'm in a public area. Stop lying to the police. I That'll am, get you in trouble. I am not lying. Yes, you are. I'm in a public your area. camera above a privacy screen to film inside where there is a closed door. Dude, What's up, brother? He's accessing a private that. area. I've you can't, you yes, can't do that. I no. can. I, I actually, I just did. West. And, and we have a good have relationship. Don't spoil it. Officer go to P2. But right now he's on six. I thought we had a good relationship. Ah, we, we could, bro. Just I'm just I, I just let you be. You okay. let me be. And that's it. I'm not here to distur disturb your uh, your business or anything like that. Right, I have a job. I have. No, I'm not. I'm con I'm conducting like business. <laughs> I don't really want it. Actively goes around and okay. tries to instigate problems. What, what else are you is after? a person that. And, and a person opinion, that walks around with a with a with a fake uh, American flag is a fake else, American. You need to respect you our after? rights. Look at this flag. What else are you after? What can I help you with? Well, I'll tell you something. As soon as I publish these videos, which I have a lot of them now, um, you guys will you guys will learn. Publish a video for and monetary gain. Oh, monetary gain. That's fine. Mm. That's Not fine. in a public what place. What else can I help you with? You're good, brother. I'm, I'm good. Bro, come on. Just just leave me alone. No, let us let, let me handle the situation with them. It's no, all good. These I don't guys want can go away. All right, go 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 away. I can't believe I'm I'm doing a second video here. I freaking said I'm going to show up and I'm going to see how if they can, actually How can you not believe it when it is your intention to walk through with a video camera? That is intentional. I would have been out a video. I would have been out with no video if you would have left me alone. With no video though you Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Hello, this is Dylan speaking. Dylan. Hi. Oh, yeah. Not yet. I'm disappointed. I'm not for a lot. <laughs> there hey, there I got, may be got what a you have to do. significantly larger issue at play at this point as there is a potential data breach. Data breach! Of a I love how he speaks. Relatively serious nature. Relatively serious nature. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> Data breach, huh? Who am I? The, 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 the NSA? <laughs> Edward Snowden? <laughs> I don't actually know what type of meetings they have in here because they are private meetings. Because Sergeant Gifford and Lieutenant Erickson. Erickson? Is it Erickson? Oh, yes. Scott Erickson. Hello. That's my boy. I love this guy. Um, we might need, we might need, well, we just might need interpretation. That's all. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks. Maybe somebody can interpret our rights to him in I don't know what well, language. Just bootlegger. Yeah. Okay. Well, that would be me. Okay. I'll just say, Please this is the second visit. Help me to flagellate myself. They are just imposing unnecessary, unnecessary strife upon me as I made the personal choice to walk through a public area with my video camera. But every problem that I run into is not my fault, it's theirs. Because I made a choice to be in a location. Shame on them. Oh, I made a choice to be in a location that I pay for, actually. Yeah, but you don't live here. So how do you pay for it? I don't live here. How do you know? You told us you didn't live here. Well, you know what? I'm buying a house here. Then do it. In fact, I would encourage it. It's a gorgeous I, I, place to live. It is. It's very expensive, though. I don't know about paying $30 for a burger in town. But... I'll tell yeah, you it's something. A little excessive. I agree on that part. Uh, I t yeah, guys, you want to come to Juno? You better be ready for a hundred dollars every day just to eat by yourself. Yep. Can I have your name and batch numbers, please. Uh, Officer Vaughn, one hundred and seventy-two. Could you please call Sergeant Gifford or Lieutenant Erickson, please? Sure. Unless you can handle this situation by yourself. Well, he, he asked me to come talk to you, and he said if he did. Yes, if you want to talk to him, that's fine. Who, Sergeant? Sergeant Gifford, yeah. Okay, good. Well, I just spoke with him. I don't really need to unless you guys can really take care of the situation. We've already established I, I can be here filming. Their problem is that I went like this. 
Yeah. I would ask that. Hey, 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 don't you ever touch me again, bro. Don't you ever you touch me again. You are violating confidential no, spaces again, by no, doing not, that. Get this guy out of my face. We don't do this while we're here. That's disorderly no, conduct. Don't need to talk to him. I just need some time. Go ahead. Let's just let's just let's talk for a minute. Yeah. What's your name? Your first name? I'm Enrique. Enrique. What's your first name? My first name is Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. Nice to meet you. So, yeah, I'm a very nice person. Mm -hmm. I don't get in people's faces like that. I don't touch people. No. He's trying to act up and uh, act tough in front of you guys. Uh, his intimidation skills are terrible. There's nothing that he can do to intimidate me. Okay. Um, I'm here doing a job and I'm educating pe uh, thousands of people on our constitutional rights. I clearly informed every single one of them here mm -hmm. that being here. Like this, like this. So, yeah, not, hey. so, so Bro, I could, I could do it. I'm proving a point here, brother. Don't, please. I'm not trying to be argumentative or disrespectful, but. Oh, I thought he was super right about everything he was saying. Why am I always right, bro? Why am I always right? Because you've been through this. So why can't you just trust me instead of calling the police? This guy just touched me. He had contact with me. So, so he might buy what's, the, what's the battery? Uh, touch or strike? You can't just touch people, right? Oh, what's that? I can't just touch anybody, right? That's illegal. Um, if I don't want to be, if the person doesn't want to be touched and I touch them, what crime is that? Uh, it depends where you touch them and like what the nature of the contact is. Well, I'm engaged in my job right now. I'm doing a, uh, I'm doing a job. He's, in, he's been interfering with me. Oh. And at this point, he's being disorderly. You know, they call the police. He said that I did a data breach. He lied to you guys a lot over the phone. Um, I'm sure that the phone call that you guys received said disturbance or something weird that I didn't do. And so this oh, told me okay. this had just assist that the information so. she had received on the phone was that he had been trespassed. Is that true? No. 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 He has not been. Okay. Because if you could find that she had been removed under trespass. No. No. There's no way I could get trespassed from here unless I'm breaking the law. So um, So that's why I'm I'm, I'm my point is I'm trying to figure out Hold on, let me check this out. We're, we're kind of we're kind of getting the details of, of that the barrier coming down. But how this how can I help other than that? that? Because that's not something that I can help with, or anything else. Because I'm not breaking any laws, and they're here to break. Can you ask me to talk to him. Can you just give me a second? Sure. I'll come talk to you in a minute. It's fine. Thanks. I have had at least three complaints at this point yeah. today about him. Yeah. Hmm. One that was a phone call directly to me and two that have been brought to my attention here in this hallway yeah. with him right there. Mm -hmm. When I receive a complaint, the person is asked to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Without an investigation. But, that, but, that, but that's but that's your security protocol. Yes. I'm operating within the criminal realm. Yes. And so those are two different things. I'm just making sure you understand where my yeah, authority where your, ends where and your begins. border Yes, correct. And so, um, will you leave peacefully? As I have received, I've been, I've been nothing but peaceful. It is, it is part of my job to request that you leave. For what crime? I don't actually need a crime. I just yeah, you do. Place. This is a public place. You can't just remove me from here for just because you don't like me. Actually, we can do that to you because you're the one that's at work. You're the one that's being contracted by the state. And guess who the state is? Us. The citizens. You, you always. It, you keep saying us. You and you've said many times you don't live here. You're not. Oh, I'm sorry. Us. I didn't know Alaska didn't get any federal taxes from from you know from the lower 48. Everybody else taxes. You know, I forgot. I'm not interested in standing here. We I agree. Have it. Neither am I. So. Um, so I, the thing is, I want to press charges on him. I, I this guy at this point he's being disorderly, brother. Can we come over here? Sure. I told them a hundred times. Everything you told them, yep. I told them a hundred times. Okay. I just sat down with the lieutenant. We had a great conversation for 30 minutes. The other day, Sergeant Gifford came over here. We had a disagreement. He didn't know. He learned something new about my visit. 
and and there's nothing uh, more than I'm proud of than you know seeing somebody tell me, hey, listen, man, I'm, I was wrong, my bad, yeah. and I respect that. But this is the second time this guy's been disorderly. I have a video of him the other day, uh, getting on my face the same way he just did that right now. This is the second time, and I have millions of people that have tuned into our content. I'm not here to break the law at all. I trust me. I want to go home. I don't want to go to jail. And the last place I want to go to jail to, that's a long hair, bro, is uh, it's in Alaska. Mm -hmm. Every, cool. Everybody's dying in DOC here. 11, 11 people died this year here. Three of them in the same month. Huh. Mark Cook, look him up. I don't know him or have any connections to him, but he died in, in the DOC because uh, he didn't receive proper care. So nobody walks out of jail and says, hey, you know, the great service there. It's not going to happen, not even with the food or anything. But not, uh, going back to our main thing here is that this gentleman, at this point, he has, he has been disturbing my peace, brother. The police is here. He's got on my face multiple times already. And uh, this guy really needs to, he either apologizes to me or I'm pressing charges on him. That's the bottom line, brother. I'm sick of it. I, I've had enough of the disrespect, although he could have a nice conversation uh, with you about anything else. But when it comes to this, he wants to be really disrespectful. So either he apologizes or I'm ready with my ID whenever you are so that I so that we can uh, do this paperwork on Dylan. Okay. So what do you what do you feel the violation of law was? Disorderly conduct. I know, but that's a that's just an ordinance. I'm just trying to figure out what. So our, our specific disorderly conduct law ordinance has like I think it was eight or nine subsections I'm just trying to figure out what particular behavior you feel was disorderly he was disturbing my peace okay. and interfering with my uh, with my uh, occupation with my business so he okay. can't do that and then he's okay. done it to the point that you guys you guys have a right tw arrived twice yeah so at this well, point so, so I know I know and correct me if I'm wrong some of what you're doing is like educate people right correct okay so that's so, why i'm giving him a chance to apologize so, so part part of that is like i'm sure you've noticed since we've been here it's a small community uh -huh. it's not a huge community right like correct. we don't get many people that do kind of what you're doing i understand yeah and so i although i can appreciate you're trying to educate people like um defending people's rights is a very big deal it's important thank you brother for us so um there is going to be some unusual behavior that arises out of that. I understand. Right. That's why that's why I'm here. And that's why you're here. Because sometimes people, uh, their behavior is not the best. And when their behavior uh, breaks the law, mm -hmm. uh, you guys show up and you guys enforce the law. Uh, this guy is a feelings officer. Mm -hmm. If he feels that somebody, do you hear what he said? He said, I've gotten three phone calls. Mm -hmm. And when people say, give me a complaint. I am asked to, I have to ask people to leave. That's the prop, that's the, you well, see this guy's pro protocol. Yeah. Yeah. What protocol is that? He's supposed to, a security officer, he's supposed to, okay, address the situation, investigate, and then, and then if somebody's breaking the law, then he can tell people to leave. But and he, he, not being an attorney, does not know. He's getting in my face and is. he's, he's getting in my face and, 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 and being aggressive, bro. And getting you views. I don't. It, it, well, that's the, which is good. It's, I mean, it's, good it's, it's I guess it's good. It's not good for me. I'm, I'm, I, it's not good for, it's not good for me. It's good for people. It's, this is my job. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean I want to be doing this every day, bro. Absolutely. I don't fault you for what you're doing. I'm not saying that there's something. So, uh, you had mentioned disturbing the peace. In the state of Alaska, we're required to give a warning to the person that's disturbing your peace prior to any legal action occurring. That's a standard of practice within the state statute. We do that all the time. We've actually talked to attorneys and gotten briefed on that, that we're required to say, hey. Oh, so you, you could are, break the, you, you could disturb the peace? peace of others. Hey, you're disturbing the peace of others. They don't appreciate it. You need to stop. If we have to come back, then there can be legal penalties imposed. Awesome. We'll give him his first warning. I'll be back tomorrow. And, and if he does it again, he's going to be at uh, Lemon Creek. Or he could just get citated. And, I mean, I don't want you in jail, bro. It's you could just... You could just you could just get a ticket and go to court. You know what I'm saying? The same way that everybody else does. I don't want you in a cell, but you definitely have to apologize because you're wrong, brother. Are you, are you talking to me again? You see what type of an asshole this guy is? No, he it don't, wasn't my conversation. It was a private conversation that I wasn't a part of. It's funny because you call the police well, and look where you're at. <laughs> look where you're at now, brother. You're supposed to apologize to me for what you did. You get in my face and and. 
So you I, you so expect I, respect back? I can't require him to make an apology. That's not something I have. That's fine, but at least, uh, but but uh, all I want but you I to do then, warn him for disturbing, wa him yeah. for disturbing, disturbing yeah, the peace, please. I appreciate it, uh, yeah. officer. How Vaughn. do you say your last name? Vaughn. Vaughn. Yeah. Thank you so much. We appreciate good cops, and I've ran in nothing but into good officers over here in Juno. Uh, you guys are a good example of what police officers should do. Uh, Uphold the Constitution is what you guys swore to protect when you became police officers. So I'm not asking for nothing uh, special from you, but thank you for doing your job, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate um, it. Do you want to talk to him real quick and let him know? Mm -hmm. Or do you want me to? Sure. Okay. So, um, all right. Are there any other, I mean, I know this is like a corridor that's publicly accessible. Yes. So the, are the there- The question that I had is where, where, where is the line? Where is the line of privacy? These well, are, he's in a public these area. Are private. Yeah, I could are, even, you so know, like how, if, if I totally, I, 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 yeah. I'm with you on the public area. Yeah. My question is, and the interpretation that I was looking for mm -hmm. was in a public area, going to a private area yeah. with the with the camera. Yeah. it's all good. If he, as long as he doesn't cross the threshold into a restricted area. Okay. But he's in a public that's, area, that's, so it would be your guys' responsibility to make sure that's not. Yes. Oh. That is. <laughs> that is. All that I was after. Yeah. And so it's, it, I was trying to, to explain it to him earlier. Yeah. So like one of the court impositions, like the case law has determined is like, I can't, I can look past a fence, but I can't like take pictures over a fence because I'm crossing the plane. So you, exactly. could look, property. you could look through a fence and you could take video through a fence, but you can't go over. Correct. Correct. And he can't do that because there's glass. Correct. Okay. So, I can't uh, cite the case law. I'm not that no, good, but no, that's no. But if that's if that's the way Damn, things are he's, interpreted, he's being warned um, not to do this again, or he's gonna break the law. Damn. Do something different. Yeah, I, I would. I would strongly encourage that. Especially yeah. sensitive information. Go ahead. Um, okay. So when he's done giving the, him some information, we'll uh, we'll take off. How long you been an officer for, brother? Uh, this is my 13th year. 13 year? You don't look that old, bro. Good job, good job. Good job, good job, good job. Good job. Uh, nah, you, you're doing an excellent job, brother. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh at this yeah, guy. Absolutely. <laughs> oh man, how do I win again? Two days That's Mr. America. Two points. I'm sure you've won. State of Alaska. Than... Zero. I'm sure you've won more than twice. <laughs> Brother, I I've been doing this for four years. Every day, I have published more than 1,500 videos. And guess how many days are there in four years? 1,460. Every day, brother. There, there's, there's nothing anybody could tell me when it comes to this that, I'm, that, that, that I could be like, okay, I'm wrong. I could be wrong about a million other things. But trust me, I, I will not play with my freedom like that. If I, well, that's why I gave you the wave at the police department this morning when I left. You did what? When you were at the police department, I was just like. That was you? Yeah. The one that, the, on the patrol car? Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. I was I, I I was like damn this guy's gonna come back something's gonna happen now. No, I had a call. ID, ID. No, I had a call. I just... You let him know. Oh, I let them know that you were out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some people might get weirded out. But, oh, but did anybody get a? But call? you were in a you were in a public area. Heck yeah. So, awesome. I always will be too. And and another thing that they don't understand and I haven't even gotten to, is that not only I could be in these in these areas, but I could more certainly open this and request service from any office in this building. You, you, know, you know that, right? Any office I could walk into, as, as long as I'm in, a, in, in, a, in, the, in the reception area and I'm not going into any restricted areas, I could do that too. Bro, this is so important. What asking for for service? From retirement benefits to the state of Alaska? I asked uh, public records request. 
So if they don't respect me, I ask for an uh, uh, official paper that gives me everybody's name in that, in that office. They don't like giving that up. Oh, I don't have to give you... I don't have to give you my name and they hide the, the, the ID badge that they've been provided to be identified. <laughs> and then they say, no, I don't have to give you my name or anything. This guy has just been warned, bro. You know how crazy this is? He does this shit again. He's going to jail, bro. This is super crazy because he called the police and now he ended up getting uh, a warning for breaking the law himself. Because, and he's lucky that the, the the requirement over here by by the law says to advise the person. I wish that worked for everything. Hey, you know, we caught you with whatever. You're going to, uh, well, weed's legal here, but some states it's not. Hey, we caught you with weed. You just don't do it again. I wish that would, that, that would work with that, but it doesn't. He's not going to apologize. That's when you know he's not a man. Real man, they're wrong, they apologize. You, you just pledged the I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. You haven't been accusing me, you've been wondering. Now, my main question is, how come police officers always do this? Oh, it's way more comfortable. <laughs> well, it's because it's 30 pounds of gear. 30? Yeah. Damn, bro. So you gotta move it around. Uh, at least, at least you don't get hot here in Alaska, right? Well, I, I worked in Oregon for a while. You get, oh. you get hot down there. Oh yeah. Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm aware of that too. Um, especially like where I'm from, they have a bunch, but no, it's a 100% public facility. I'm so proud of the Juno Police. And guys, I need you to go to the Juno Police Department on Google and give them a five star for this interaction uh, to Officer Vaughn and what's his name? Officer Harry. Harry? All right, and Officer Harry over there. And also, one of the leaders of this uh, police department is Scott Erickson, this guy's awesome, amazing. Shout outs to him for standing up for freedom and having good leadership for Juno uh, Police. Okay, we're good. You're good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Do you have any more questions before we take off? I'm good, sir. What was your name? Uh, Herrick, right? Herrick, Herrick. Yes. Herrick. Okay, awesome. Officer Herrick, good job. And good job to you too, brother. Uh, we hope that you guys can continue educating people on, on the Constitution. Yeah. Um, I had a couple of the folks that, one of the ones that had come out I give you to stop uh, actively down the street here. Yeah. Can I have you guys yeah. go with them so I can at least move them away in a Actually, way that maybe maybe will help them to feel safe as well? <laughs> I know, so I'm, right. I'm not talking about like, get out of here. I'm just being like 10 feet or so so that I can. There's nothing unsafe here, here brother. <laughs> so employees here or who said that yes. they were uncomfortable? Um, I guess some of the people that are in the room that he was filming into. Oh, they, in this room here. Yeah. Well, oh, they could. Well, I would they love to leave, escort right? them There's to someone walking. what they would feel is a safer place if they are still uh, with sure. them. Yeah. Um, so where do they want to go? I don't know. I was going to tap on the door oh. and offer that because I mean, yeah, we we're do gonna offer leave. it to be an escort to a great deal of people, say they're going oh. to their car at night. Okay. Do you, do you want, want to do that? Or do you want us? Yeah, to do I was that. going to. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, if they want to leave, What's, uh, what's really crazy about these situations is that no one that will ever, 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 ever yeah. apologize. <laughs> ever. I apologize when I feel I've done something wrong. You did. You just got warned, uh, don't break the law again, or, you, or, or you, you're... Ow. Well, well if, it, if you don't care, try doing it again and see how that works out. I don't intend to. Okay, I'm sure you don't. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm sure you don't. You've been warned. So were you trying to escort somebody out, or what's the point? If If the people had been still in there, I didn't know how big the room was. Okay. To us, it's a private room. Okay. All right. Fair enough. So I was going to offer to walk them out if they were still in. They were. And they, okay. Okay. I found out that they have since left. Okay. Because you focused on me too much. Okay. Well, we're going to leave. Um, no, because I try not to pry into other people's business. <clears throat> oh man, this is our business. No. The state of our, Alaska is our business. I'm not. I'm, you don't I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. A I, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm here for the people of Alaska. Yeah, I'm standing up for the people that 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 I actually come over here and request services, and you guys trample on their rights all over. Well, Any apologies from you? No, no. Okay, so enjoy that walk of shame. You can go ahead. That's the walk of shame. That, my friends, is the walk of shame. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's called the First Amendment, guys. That's why Mr. America does what he does. That's why we have over 100 million combined views on the Internet. Just on YouTube, guys. We have 30 more million views on Facebook. Our number one video has got 11 million hits. Make sure you continue sharing these videos. Continue spreading the education uh, so that tyrants like Dylan don't ever do this again. Oh, yeah. This is better, this is better interaction than the other day. It took us an hour to, to trying to figure it out. A whole hour, bro. Well, this time it's more compressed, less editing. <laughs> I love this guy. And you know what? If he didn't, he has an anger problem. He, I think he has a mental situation because he's either really nice or that I don't know where he explodes. Ah, rah, 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 rage. He, he needs to, he needs to t handle that. Twenty-eight week program or something. Uh, all right. So where do you guys parked on? What's that? Uh, you guys are parked out back. Wrong. Oh, easy door. Uh, where's that from? From out back. Um, Calhoun side? Yeah. Calhoun side. Okay. Yeah. Because you're closer to six than zero. Can you guys look at me right here? Oh, there sure. you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. I'm Enrique. Enrique? Yes, sir. Um, thank you for educating me. Thank you for uh, standing up for the Constitution and, you know, being a police officer, bro. This is a tough job. It's, well, yeah, it is, but it's important that people, so, like, some people think it's enforcing the law. But like protecting the rights mm -hmm. is the major component of it. Yep. And I heard you asked one of my coworkers yesterday what is probably the most important of them. Was. Yes, he said all of them. Which ones listed first? He said all of them. What do they, what do they say? What do the forefathers say? Uh, it, without the first, none of them could exist. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Thank you so much, brother. All right. Take care. Awesome. Awesome. so awesome oh man guys that's why mr america does what he does shout out to chase from the allen report heather ray tv shout out to the juno police for standing up for a constitution shout outs to uh sergeant gifford uh we had a difference but we came to a, uh we came to an understanding and that's what this uh that's what this all is uh, about you know uh we disagree in certain things and we can speak about it and come to an agreement Juneau, Alaska. We'll see you in the next one.